hey welcome or welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to tell you guys how i healed my relationship with food i'm just gonna give a little warning because we are talking about things that can be potentially triggering so just proceed with caution okay take your time and do what's best for your mental health so these are the things that i did to heal my relationship with food and i really do think it will help you out too so the first thing i did was practice mindful eating so um i ate much slower i noticed that before i would just put on a show and i would just eat and by the time i realized it my food is gone i don't remember eating and i don't even remember enjoying my meal i'm not stimulated and then i'm gonna want to eat something else even though i'm full i stopped eating when i was full and not when i was done so what that means is sometimes you know when you get full and you look down at your plate and you see you still have a lot of food left you feel compelled to eat it just because it's there it's like oh it's only a little bit left i'll just eat it or i don't want to waste any food and you know that stems from my childhood when our parents told us basically you know we can't leave the table until we eat everything or we're wasting their food or they're starving kids in other countries or whatever so i get it but at the same time most of us are grown now like you have to outgrow that mindset because our parents can't tell us what what to eat and how to eat anymore you are in control of your eating habits you want to listen to your body i started listening to my body um because your body will tell you when it's full when it's hungry when it's thirsty when it's bored so if you just slow down and listen to your body you will see feel and understand all of the triggers your body sent us to tell us what it really wants the second thing I did was I stopped emotionally eating. Understanding my triggers and what's making me want to eat is the most important part. Food and eating won't change the fact that, you know, you may be feeling depressed, you may be angry, you may be sad or irritated, you may be grieving the loss of, you know, a loved one or your heart is broken. Food isn't going to change that. Once you eat all of that food, you're still gonna feel those things. Taking the time to understand why you're hurt and why you're triggered, what in your environment is triggering you, you have to heal from the things that harm you, you know, the things that have hurt you, that have changed your life. You have to heal from it in order to move on and get your closure. Food, drugs, sex, tattoos, it's not gonna it's not gonna heal you just take the time to understand what you're feeling allow yourself to feel those feelings they're not feeling the way for no reason food is not going to help you food is gonna make you feel better because once you eat you know maybe you'll feel satisfied but you're gonna be sad because you don't have a good relationship with your siblings and your biggest fuck so you know let's just um heal so we don't have to be either one of those things so another thing that i did was i kept the food diary for my food diary i wrote down what i ate at what times did i eat how i felt before eating how i felt during and after eating what I ate, what I was thinking about before I ate, and how hungry I felt on a scale of one to 10 and how full I felt on a scale of one to 10. Over time, you are going to notice a pattern that's going to connect your eating habits, your hunger to your emotions and your mood. And then once we get there, then we understand why we're doing what we're doing and then we can heal from that and we can do better so another thing i did was find i found some healthy stress reliever techniques so i was doing yoga um meditating reading I really love journaling journaling 
really just gets all of this out of my head and I can get it down on a piece of paper and I can see and connect like what's going on in my head what am I feeling why am I feeling it okay I see this I see this this makes sense I gotta I gotta figure out what this means you know um it's just a good way to get all of this and all of this out of you so you can focus on the things that make you happy and another thing I did was I fought my boredom a lot of the times you're not hungry you're just bored um find a good show to watch work out go for a walk listen to music I feel like as children it was so easy for us to find hobbies like we would collect we would collect rocks or something dumb like that why is it that now that we're adults it's like we can't find anything we truly like i think that we still love the things that we liked when we were little now we just accepted the role of being a full-time adult like a lot of us are mothers a lot of us are working full-time a lot of us take care of our parents a lot of like but that's not all you are you have to figure out what you like make friends go out, experience things, take courses. There are so many free courses that you can take online because the worst thing you can do is be home alone with nothing to do with a house full of food because the only thing that's gonna make sense at that point is eat. I think that we need to get into the habit of taking ourselves on dates and solo dating. If you don't know what solo dating is, I'll do like a full in-depth video so you can really understand what it is and why it's important for people no matter what age you are to do it. Another thing I did was I redefined what food was to me, you know. Um, when you obsess over food, you feel like food is your everything, you know. Um, if you redefine what food really is to you, then you're in control of how you think about food, how much you think about it. If you make food an important role in your life, it's all you're gonna think about. Like, you know, for example, if you have children, a lot of the times the kids are all you think about because that's being a mother is an important role in your life. If you make food that role, you're not gonna think about your kids. You're not gonna think about your family or the things you like. Food is not therapy, food is not a drug, food is not your friend, food is fuel, food is nutrients. No, it's, it's energy, it's not this big great thing that you need all day every day to feel like a person, to feel alive, to feel satisfied. Food is, it's not that serious. So if you redefine food to a small role in your life, something that's not truly significant, then you can move on from that obsession. Another thing I did was I stopped feeling guilty about eating and I just gave myself the grace that I need and the grace that I deserve. You know, I realized that we are human beings. We're literally programmed to eat and die if nothing else. So beating yourself up over doing something that you're programmed to do is crazy. Like if you slip up and cheat on your diet or you don't meet your calorie goal, it's okay. You have tomorrow. We're gonna live longer lives. It doesn't matter if you're 20, 40, 60, or 80. You're going to live a long life and there's always tomorrow. Start again tomorrow. Start over as many times as it takes. All of this is just a learning experience. Something that will be helpful is stop rewarding and punishing yourself with food. You know, don't say, oh, you can't eat until you get all your work done. Or you just so good on your project. We're going to eat 10 tacos just to celebrate. Like, no. Just stop and give yourself the grace you need and everything else will fall into place. Last but not least, you want to build a support system. You know, there are professionals that can help you out with your journey. You know, consider therapy. They are trained to help you through your journey. 
if you're not into therapy, that's understandable, you know? I get it. Find people who are willing to hear you out and hold you accountable. You are not alone. There are so many people that are going through the same thing you're going through and that want to build that community. This is a community of people who want to make their lives better, build healthy habits, and heal from the things that are holding them back. So if you feel like you don't have anyone that's on your side, I'm right here. I'm just a DM away. I understand you. I see you. I hear you. So if you need somebody, I'm always going to be here. Period. Heal your relationship with food so you can meet those goals and maintain those goals you know i hope these things made sense if you have any questions you can again you can comment below or you can dm me on instagram if you have any suggestions or methods that work for you comment them down below we're always looking for ways to do better here don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video my name is tlc and i'll see you later Bye-bye.